So in uh, this video, I'm going to show you guys what do you do when your video is overexposed and how do you fix that in Adobe Premiere. Stay tuned. So when you're filming videos, you might have or unknowingly as a beginner mistake, you might either light the video too much, your video settings might not be the right settings. So the first thing you want to do is you want to avoid that completely. So making sure you're, if it's way too overexposed, you can see in the skin. And if you have a histogram, you can see as well. So first thing I would do is I would check the video setting. So right now my ISO, ISO is at 160. I can bump that down and that almost does the trick. But what if it's still exposed or overexposed? What you can do is you can, if you have lighting, you can turn down the lighting and this is a little bit underexposed but in terms of video this is actually perfect when it comes to color grading and color correcting but like I said making sure your ISO is the lowest as it can go if it's really bright and in emergency situations like if you're filming outdoors you don't have an ND filter aka sunglasses for your lens then what you can do is crank up the shutter speed so let's say this lighting was the sun right it's really bright and i'm shooting at 320 iso 1 over 80 and as you can see you lose the information of having overexposed video right it, same with photos it's like you're losing information and you're not being able to edit them properly in post, whether that's Lightroom or Adobe Premiere. Tip number one, make sure you have the right camera settings so you avoid this problem and issue completely because I would much rather have our edited underexposed videos than overexposed videos. Unless you're shooting an S-Log2, then you would need to overexpose a video, but let's not get too complicated. So right now, my settings for my camera are 1 over 50, 2.8 aperture, and my ISO at 100. And as you can tell, this is completely fine. I can adjust the exposure levels and curves, and I can fix whether this video is a little bit over or underexposed. It is completely fine. But what if you're not like me and you're not knowledgeable when it comes to knowing the camera settings? Maybe you shot outside and you have a video that is completely blown out, like horrendously blown out where you look, y'all look like a ghost. As you can see, this is almost not usable, but I'm going to try my best to show you in Adobe Premiere what you can do. But it comes down to the basics of lowering your expo exposures, lowering your highlights, lowering your whites, and having a little bit of knowledge when it comes to using curves. And I'll see what I can do the best if you were to overexpose your videos. But the reality is for you to fix overexposed videos, if it's not filmed in S-Log2, it's not gonna be the most prettiest and it might not be usable for client video. But if it's just a YouTube video, there's definitely ways in post-production that you can do to lower the overall, that you can still save or salvage your video. But a big caveat from this is that you don't want to deal with this problem in the beginning. So make sure your camera is not, if you're filming out outdoors, make sure it's on auto because manual, you might forget to change it and you can get something like this because this has actually happened to me before. <laughs> and when you're indoors, make sure it's on manual. Outdoors, if you're just vlogging, make sure it's on auto exposure and make sure you slap on an ND filter, which is essentially sunglasses for your camera or video. This is the before. No, this is actually the after. This is what it was look like, looking like before. So like I said, step number one is that the first thing you want to do is you want to be able to avoid this situation altogether and you rather have your videos be underexposed. But let's say you did not know any video settings and what do you do? So first thing you want to jump into Adobe Premiere, you want to go into your Lumetri scopes and you want to have your waveform Luma as well as your vector scope for a little bit of a color correcting at the end. So first you want to look over here. This is your waveform 
And what the 100% and zero means is that whatever you pull to your darks are going to be here. Here are your highlights, and you can see it is getting crushed. So I'm going to recreate this look for you and how I was able to save that video to a certain degree. You may or may not argue with me on that sense, but I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. So what you do is I put on adjustment layer. I go into my basic correction over here. And the first thing I look at is um, I'm like, okay, where, what is getting crushed? So I'm like my highlights, you don't want to be at a hundred. You want to be at 90 and you want to be at 10 here. If all your information is getting crushed, that means it is way too underexposed. For example, if I bring this all down, as you can see, everything gets crushed. If I bring this all the way up, everything is getting crushed on its highlights. So right now, having the video be overexposed, what I want to do is I just want to bring down the exposure, exposure just a little bit. Probably here is good. Next, what I want to do is I want to decrease the contrast just a little bit. Highlights, as you can tell, brings up or down the highlights. What I do, I want to bring the highlights pretty much all the way down. Shadows, I want to increase the shadows just a little bit so there's more contrast. Whites, I would also want to bring down just a little. And I want to increase the blacks just a smidge. And then I want to make sure my white balance is also a little warmer. Add a little life to my skin tones. And even though it was initially really overblown, we can see a little before and after, right? Next, what I want to do is I want to go into curves. And this is in correlation to this waveform Luma over here, as you can see. So if I drag here, this will, I will pull everything down. So I just want to pull this just a little bit so we get a little bit more contrast in our image. And as the for highlights, you can increase it. But I'm just going to pull this down a little bit more. And if anything, I can press here and I can even drag just the highlights a little bit lower or higher, depending on how the image looks. And so far, not bad at all. And everything else I would just leave as is. If you want to mess around with the hue and luma, you can depending on the colors. A lot more, you can see the colors pop more. There's a little bit more of information in the background in comparison to this, right? Or even comparison to this. You want to avoid this in completely and you want to, if anything, this is the correct exposure when it comes to lighting your videos properly and having the right video settings so you can avoid the situation altogether. And like I said, that is how I fixed overexposed videos with the best of the possibilities, even if you are a complete beginner. Now you know how to somewhat or sort of fix your overexposed videos in Adobe Premiere. And hopefully you can avoid these situations, but yes, it's not the end of the world. And if you just slightly overexpose or underexpose, you can always fix that in post-production and After Effects in Premiere Pro, Lightroom, DaVinci, whatever you want to use, whatever fancies your boat. But like I said, you want to avoid this to begin with and you want to film with the proper settings. Link in the description if you want to check out my other videos of having the best video settings that you can use so you can avoid the situation. Grab my free camera guide. All my resources are in the link below. Check those out. My name is Peter and you're watching Bro Visionary Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers.